It was a sweet night with a full moon. In the kingdom of Andros, seated on her royal bed, Aisha chatted on the phone with Stella. So, we're in agreement then, said Aisha. I'll be expecting you tomorrow to celebrate my birthday together. You can count on it, replied Stella from her room at Alfea. Bloom, Musa, Techna, Flora and I can't wait to hug you. But now we have to get some sleep, continued the fairy of the shining sun. We need to get our beauty sleep so we'll be even more beautiful tomorrow. The next morning, Aisha was awakened by a wonderful surprise. With her breakfast, she found a wonderful evening gown in sea green silk, decorated with shiny coloured pearls. Your Highness, this is your birthday gift, said Mr. Ciseau, the head royal tailor. It's a dress worthy of a princess, added Nanny. How wonderful, smiled Aisha moved. Thank you, Mr. Ciseau. How wonderful! Her birthday had begun in the best possible way. After breakfast, Aisha decided to take a run on the beach. The white beach of the Andros Ocean was the ideal place to stay in shape. Then, right there on the shore, she saw a strange and shiny object. It was a precious pink jewellery box in the shape of a shell, closed with a golden hasp. Aisha stroked it with her finger and the box magically opened. Inside it was a beautiful black pearl necklace and a mysterious note. At sunset, Bloom, Stella, Flora, Musa and Tecna joined Aisha on Andros. The wings came together around a fire on the beach and Aisha told them what she had found. In the jewellery box, there was also a note from Ligeia, the Queen of the Sea, said Aisha. Ligeia asked me to hide the necklace because her kingdom is in danger, Aisha continued. I don't like this one bit, exclaimed Bloom. We have to help Ligeia. Let's go visit her, said Flora. If we hurry, we'll be back in time for the party. The wings dove into the Sea of Andros. Soon they arrived at Ligeia's home. Noble fairies, welcome to my kingdom, said Ligeia. To thank them for their help, she transformed them into beautiful mermaids. What a wonderful look, exclaimed Stella. With mermaid tails, the wings were even more beautiful. Ligeia told of how a mysterious evil being was imprisoning the mermaids. Many have already disappeared. The black pearl necklace is needed to free them. It is a talisman that gives power to all the sea populations, said Ligeia. We must find out who this enemy of ours is, cried Bloom. Ligeia ordered Tala, the messenger mermaid, to take the wings to the secret library of the Kingdom of the Sea. There is a special book in our library, explained the blonde Tala. It is the magic fortune teller book. He knows all. He will be able to tell us the name of whoever is kidnapping my mermaid sisters. A book that knows everything? I want to ask it where to go shopping, said Stella. I don't think it will answer, said Nasia, the purple-haired mermaid. The fortune teller book only speaks with fairies who ask it questions on their birthday. Then it's up to me, said Aisha. Today is my birthday.
The library of the Kingdom of the Sea housed millions of volumes. How will we find the book we need? asked Flora worriedly. Just then, an ancient book flew off its shelf and bowed before a surprised Aisha. There he was, the fortune teller book. How beautiful, exclaimed Bloom. He was the one to find us. Happy birthday, Princess of Andros, said the magic book. I know all and already know your question. Vires is the name of the one who threatens the kingdom of the sea. The wings returned to Ligeia. The queen listened in concern to their tale. Vires, said Ligeia with a sigh. I hoped never to hear her name again. Vires was the guardian of the magic necklace, said Ligeia. Many years ago, she transformed into a witch. She tried to use the power of the black pearls to conquer our kingdom. I succeeded in defeating her and recovering the necklace, and Vires escaped into the deepest depths. Now she's back, concluded Bloom, and she seems even more powerful. The wings had to act quickly. Tala, Nasia and Kalia, their mermaid friends, had also disappeared. The wings cast a powerful searching spell. I saw where Virus is hiding, said Bloom. Wings, let's go. The six fairies swam towards the abyss of the kingdom of the sea, all the way to a dark valley inhabited by terrible tritons. From the darkness, a sinister figure approached. It was wrapped in a cloak decorated with threatening tentacles. It's her! It's the witch Virus, said Tecna. It was time to fight. Wings, I'll destroy you, shouted Virus in a thunderous voice. The tentacles of her cloak stretched out to capture the fairies, but the wings escaped her attack. All together! Bloom called out to her friends, Magic Convergence! The wings launched a powerful attack. You've defeated me, cried Virus, before escaping, but I swear I'll be back. Bye bye, witchy, said Stella. You don't scare us. The wings had won. It was time to free the mermaids of the kingdom of the sea. What joy! What magic! All the mermaids hugged the wings and then they formed an undersea ring around the rosy in honour of Aisha. Happy birthday, Princess Aisha! cried out all the mermaids in chorus. This is the best birthday of my life, said Aisha cheerfully. It was an unforgettable birthday full of love and happiness. And in the end, the wings returned to the kingdom of Andros, just in time to celebrate again. <laughs>